Okay. Recording, it says recording. All right. So here's what we missed, or what I missed recording. Don't really need to recap, I feel like everyone was here. Um, but all the notes that I write on, on the screen, I'll just post those so that you have them. Um, and then what you'll find is usually I, I talk around, around the note. Hey, there's a little, a little kitty. Um, if we were playing that uh, Zoom room bingo or whatever it is, it's like one pet on screen. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, I'll post the PDF of this and then I'll post the, the video. <laughs> She's needy. <laughs> Uh, oh, what's my Discord username? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we all love the cat. Uh, I think it's just Emily. Hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. How do I know? Going on my phone. Where is it? Here's my Discord. I'm never there. It goes, it's, I have it on my phone, so I'm cool like that. But, oh yeah, it says, uh, so for Discord, I don't know if this is useful. It says Emily Lee and then number 69. Oh, two. I don't know. I don't know if that's useful. Um, but anyways, hey, I have an incoming friend request. Okay, well, I, <laughs> so cool. All right, put that away for now. Um, okay, but that's where I am. I guess, yeah, so you'll find me. Um, another thing, so I, I have been using Zoom and posting my videos on YouTube, um, for like two years already. So, uh, any glitches are just my bad, but, uh, <laughs> uh but I haven't used it like this. Usually everyone just kind of watches them later and don't really join in and, um, that's fine. But uh, I will be posting the videos on YouTube unless there's anyone who can't access them on YouTube for whatever reason, um, then just let me know just kind of privately or whatever, um, probably in an email because then I can keep track of it. Uh, but videos will be posted on YouTube. Okay. So let me know if that's a problem. Um, hopefully it's okay. All right. So, um, have you guys had any classes yet? Yeah? One? Two. I'm seeing one, two. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Hey, so you guys don't move through as a cohort? You're kind of on your own. Um, hey, nice. People are recognizing people, and I think that's pretty nice. So, or names, I guess, works too. Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right. Um, if you've already had a class, is there, um, is, I have it later in my notes, but I just wanted to kind of, before I forget, is there a calculator that you're supposed to have or just kind of whatever, no one said anything, who cares, use whatever, 
this is your chance to say use whatever. No, I'll talk to Jim about it. <laughs> I I don't think. <laughs> oh yeah, your your phone. <laughs> it works for me. Um, we're not really gonna do any calculate or like a lot of calculator stuff. It's um it's more like puzzles that we're going to be doing. So logic and just kind of puzzly stuff. So pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but no, not a lot of like straight math. So I, I don't have a preference for a calculator, but I just wanted to see if there was one that you have to get or anything like that. But sounds like no. Good. Um, okay. Of course, I'm trying to keep it as simple. So this whole like learning online thing, I'm trying to keep it simple, um, but it's hard. It's really hard to kind of boil it down and, and um, keep it as nice and clean as it can be in the classroom. Um, so there are quite a few things that I'm gonna expect you to kind of handle. Um, so kind of let's chalk it up under technology. And I suspect that you guys are going to be fine. Uh, my pre-calcs, not so much, but that's okay. You guys, I, I'm hoping you guys will be like, oh yeah, whatever, old hat. Um, but I just want to lay it on the line. So we will be using WebAssign, um, and I'll talk more about that because it's with the textbook. Um, so we will be using WebAssign, but I think that I have linked it up with Moodle. We'll see. But we'll put it on here. So the first thing we'll be using is WebAssign. Uh, I do expect you to be able to scan something, uh, multiple pages even, into one document. Uh, I do expect that. You can get a scanner app on your phone. Um, I use Scannable, it's really, really good. I think it might be for Apple only, but sue me. Uh, but some sort of scanner app on your phone or go old school and have a scanner. I don't know, doesn't matter. Just be able to scan documents. Uh, so not immediately, but it is something that I, I will expect you to do. Uh, for any written work that you're submitting, I'm going to try to use Gradescope. I used Gradescope, um, and has anyone used Gradescope before? Or, no? That cool, that cool. Uh, okay, so Gradescope uh, is just um, an online thing. You upload your scanned document, and then you tell me where the work is for each question. And then I flip through and I, I mark it that way. So it just um, makes the grading more consistent because grading um, on a screen is actually really hard because you can't flip back and forth and say, oh, I'm going to do page one and then page one and then page one. Uh, and so I just found that it made it a lot easier. So we will be using Gradescope. But a lot of these things, uh, as we and I'll say to submit written work. Oops. Yeah, that's a do over. No. Uh, a lot of these things I'll introduce kind of throughout the term, so don't worry. Um, and then, of course, kind of Discord we talked about already, which is totally optional. Um, but just as a question forum, if you want to, or like a hangout forum, I guess, if you want to use it as that too, it works. Um, for questions, um, and then, do I even put YouTube on here? I think you guys all know. <laughs> no. 
I'm going to put it on just so I can strike it out. How about that? I'll just leave it on. Okay, so those are just the things off the top of my head that I'm like, okay, you guys need to have a handle on this. I think that's, um, I don't know, pretty fair. So as far Question, as the textbook uh, goes, uh, we will be using the nature of math. Let's see here. Just a quick question, Emily. You bet. Uh, your YouTube is for your lectures, your recording? Yes. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, so YouTube, hey, yeah. Um, for lecture recordings. Oops. And, oops, I'll post the link to it, but you should just be able to search my name on YouTube and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Well, there's someone who spells it differently who is way more popular than, than me, um, but that's okay. With your guys' likes and followings and subscribings, um, I'll be YouTube star in no time. Um, but that's where I'll put the, the lecture recordings. Okay. So, uh, ba, 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 ba. textbook. So I have a, an old copy of it. This is the, the old edition, the 12th edition. We're going to use the, uh, the 13th edition, but, um, you don't have to get a physical textbook obviously, and we'll talk about that. Um, but if you stumbled upon one and it was really cheap, it might be nice to have a physical copy. Uh, they never change a lot in these new editions. So um, if you just want to have one on hand, they might even have some in the library. I don't know what the library is looking like these days, but anyways. Um, so for our textbook, we are using the nature of math, mathematics. Oops. With uh, the textbook, you did say, because I did email you asking about it, mm -hmm. um, the web assign that goes with it. So do you need yeah. to buy a new copy or can you buy the web assign separately? You can buy the web assign separately. Um, and the web assign comes with the ebook. So if you buy the web assign, you might as well just get the ebook with it and not waste your money or time on a hard copy. Exactly. That's what you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I would recommend. Um, but I'll show you guys the, the site and everything. Show you the sites. <laughs> so the nature of math, we're using the 13th edition with WebAssign. So mostly we're after the WebAssign. Um, no one likes making students pay for stuff, but uh, the WebAssign, it's really good about just kind of like, oh, okay, so you had trouble with this problem. How about you go read this section or try the similar problem? Or uh, here's how we worked through a a similar problem sometimes they're even the same right um so just kind of to to nudge you along so uh and i think it's 74 dollars so if you're poking around uh and you're looking for the web assign it should be 74 ish canadian that's important. You don't want to pay American. Um, okay, so um, the web assign. Uh, so web assign, I'll just do WA includes ebook. So um, I'd say there are two places where you can buy them. You can buy them uh, the access 
through the bookstore, so the online bookstore, or uh, there's a link in the course outline as well, and both of them seem to be 74 Canadian, so those are the ones that I would go for first. Um, one thing, you do get a free trial for I think it's 14 days, so you don't need to pay for the access yet, so if you're not sure if you're staying in the course or whatever, um, then you don't have to run out and buy it immediately. Um, you can just do the free trial and then buy the access. It'll, I'm sure it'll be, you know, access is running out, go buy it, go buy it. Uh, and then just make sure you buy it through the, the bookstore uh, or that link that I saw pop up in the chat there from the, from the course outline. Okay. And so um, you get a free trial for 14 days. I think it's 14 days still. Might be seven, but should be 14. Okay. Um, so, any questions before we kind of zip through the course outline? And it might be easiest to just unmute. So I'm a little bit confused. So do we buy WebAssign and get the ebook, or do we buy the ebook and that gets us WebAssign? Uh, it would be. I think it would be easier to buy the WebAssign and it includes the ebook. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is that the link that you sent then, Zach? Let's see here. Because uh, that's the one that's on the. Um, that's the one that's on your uh, yeah that's the one on the course outline. outline right yeah yeah uh let me just take us there okay so uh we've got the oh now it's thinking unable to open note hey come on that's all right just go to our Moodle page instead. Okay, so I obviously haven't set up the whole Moodle page, um, but as we go through, I'm gonna break it up by weeks. So we're in week one. Week one's kind of a freebie, introduction, whatever, whatever. Um, and then we'll have kind of two classes per week. Except we lose quite a few days for holidays, I think because we meet Monday, Wednesday, and I think uh, there's Thanksgiving is on a Monday, and I think Remembrance Day is on a Wednesday. Whether you think that's winning or losing, I'm not sure, but we get less classes. That's all right. It's all accounted for. So uh, let's go to the course outline. It has this weird... Uh, Kind of oh now you can't see my pointer but um, I don't know it generated improperly. I wasn't gonna stay up all night trying to fix that top line math one three nine math one eleven math one twelve. It's not my code. So um, all right. I'm Emily. I'm at the Kelowna campus. Even though this course I think is in Vernon. Vernon. Pretty sure. Um, doesn't matter. We're all here. Um, so, except I am actually in Edmonton. What? Why not? Um, weird setup. But anyways, not by choice. No, sort of by choice. <laughs> My husband's with the military. I point because he's home. Um, and so we used to live in Ottawa. So I was commuting from Kelowna to Ottawa. Edmonton's way easier, especially when I can just. How was the drive? <laughs> it, well, you don't do the drive too often, <laughs> but we did do the drive this summer. So pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, lots of flying though. Um, 
All right, so you obviously know when we meet for class times, uh, you've read the course description, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's the link. Um, and I'm just gonna click it to see, because that's the one that was in the chat here. Okay, so it is the right price and it is the WebAssign instant access. So I would say this one, it's a go. It's a buy. <laughs> uh, you can probably, uh, I, I would look at buying it through the bookstore because they might have, I don't know, something like I know their return policy is kind of bunk, but uh, I don't know, just stuff like that. Tough with the access. I don't think their returns are very good. Um, but anyways, I know they have it through the bookstore. So support the local bookstore. All right. So let's go back here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, we are going to jump around in the chapters quite a bit. And so um, Leslie has taught this course quite a bit before, and she's teaching it alongside uh, another section with us. And so she said, you know, it's weird to do chapter two and then go into chapter 12 and then back to, and then chapter 15. Uh, I don't usually like doing that. I like working through a textbook kind of properly, um, but she said this is the kind of the best way. So I trust her and so that's what we're gonna follow. We're just gonna follow um, this outline, the course content that's in the course outline. So chapter two, chapter 12, um, and then some of the sections aren't covered in um in the textbook explicitly and so those will just be notes from class okay but i'll kind of highlight that um and then there's example questions but i'm just going to regenerate those um just in web assign instead so you have easy access and you can kind of try them there okay? uh blah 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 Learning outcomes, by the end of the course, you're expected to do all these um, eight core things and some other stuff, right? But these are the core things that you're taking out of this course. Um, it never makes sense to read them beforehand, but it is a really good study tool later on for the final, because of course the final exam is gonna have to touch on um, most if not all of these things. Right. And so it's good to kind of refer back to and say, oh, I'm expected to know all these things. Right. Um, course evaluation. So we're going to do assignments and, and quizzes. Um, the assignments will be open for longer. What makes a quiz a quiz is that it's going to be timed. Um, and so we're just kind of working on that a little bit, but, uh, so assignments and quizzes are a huge chunkier grade, uh, because uh, what you need is practice, practice, practice. So not a lot of this under pressure test stuff. Um, but we're going to do, we're still kind of figuring, I say we, because there's two other people teaching this course as well. And so, so we want to teach it kind of, um, jointly, um, so we were talking about maybe two or even three tests and we'll kind of see how it plays out um, once we start teaching here, but uh, let you guys know ASAP. But so two or three, 15 or 10% each, pretty bite size. Uh, and then the final exam is actually not worth that much either. So it's 25%, but of course it is cumulative. So it's everything that we've covered um and so kind of a longer thing but uh but not bad okay. um one note that i have to mention is to pass the course even though it's only worth 25 percent of your grade you do need at least 45 percent on the final to be eligible to pass the course right so if you get less than that uh, the highest you can get is 49%, unfortunately. So just put 
putting it out there, nothing to worry about. If you're here and you're kind of doing the problems and making it work, uh, not a problem. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, one thing that we kind of picked up from another institution was uh, because we're doing these tests online, I trust you guys, but I also trust that you're creative and, and everything like that. Um, so after a, a test, there is a possibility that I might contact you and have you explain how you arrived at some answer. If it kind of looks weird or whatever, um, it's not really a big deal. It's kind of, um, let's call it a post-exam interview. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, but don't be alarmed if, if that happens. Um, okay, you can read all the department policies, but you'll see kind of towards the end, it says uh, calculators used for exams will satisfy the department's uh, calculator policies. So for you guys, that would be the computer science department uh, for math 139 comma, and then there's nothing. So the problem is that all these things auto filled uh, or came from another chunk of code and I don't know what's supposed to go there. So uh, that's why I was asking you about the calculators and if, uh, if anyone said anything. But uh, anyways, I'll talk to Jam and see what's up. Uh, but it sounds like it's not a big deal. So there's no formula sheet for this course. It's all up in here, but also you're at home, so, but like I said, a lot of this course is just kind of um, puzzles, right? Kind of solving puzzles and logic and, and that kind of stuff. So, um, so you don't really get a formula sheet for that. And then there's the important dates. I'm sure you've all got them jotted down already, committed to memory. Um, don't cheat. Be nice to each other. What is it Bonnie Henry says? Be kind. Be safe. Anyways, it's not in the policies, but it's a good policy. Um, so there uh, are, of course, accessibility services still, um, but they usually contact me um directly and then there is advising of course it's all kind of virtual um but so for kind of course advising you guys have kind of picked a track already not waffling like the some of the other guys i don't know what am i supposed to do so uh so that's good uh but there's links to all those all those things um any questions mm -hmm. so this is the poster that steve printed up um and if you want to go on discord that's great if you don't totally fine um but it's there and the poster is on our moodle page all right, the last thing um, that I've got here, oh, second to last thing. I have up kind of in the welcome section, I have my office hours. Last term when we kind of switched to online, my office hours were me just sitting here alone in front of my computer for two hours. Um, it was not that fun. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I am, I'm usually available, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting in front of my computer for two hours. Um, but uh, so I am usually available. Just text me or email me. They both go to my phone, so it doesn't matter. Um, 
But, uh, and then, so if you're working on something and you want to have an office hour question, uh, then we can just meet in a Zoom room that I'll put up here. Um, and we can just kind of talk it through that way. Okay, so if you want to have office hours, just let me know. Uh, we have, um, I guess, unlimited office hours. So um, take advantage. Yeah. All right. Now it's your turn, sort of. Don't worry. I won't make, yeah, I, I won't make you uh, talk or anything today. Showing your faces was brave enough. <laughs> uh, but you'll see there's the WebAssign Math 139 kind of puzzle piece. Um, never thought I'd say puzzle so much today, uh, but here we are. So there's a puzzle piece here, and when I click it, it does not work. So that's a bummer. But I would love for you guys to try to click it, and hopefully, um, if you have a WebAssign account, does anyone have a WebAssign account on a show of thumbs? That's all right. Um, so mind tap, there's a lot of other things, but um, uh, you'll probably have to make a WebAssign account and then link it to your, so through this link that I'm about to click here, the WebAssign Math 139. It's a shame because you can't see my pointer. I'll ban it wide it. Here, Math 139, I'm about to click it. And then when, when mine comes up, it just wants me to link my account, but it refuses to accept my account. So I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's still refusing to do it. So I'd love for you guys to, okay. So we've got a couple of, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so it works for two of you. That's good. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the contact customer support button is suspiciously large and available. And I actually hit it and it says, okay, well now copy this information and put it in another message. So weird, but yes, <laughs> it is very prominent. Um, Oh, awesome. So uh, Zach said he just made an account and you have the 14 days of free access. Awesome. Okay, so that's how, so kind of uh, fires out for buying the access for 14 days. So you can kind of poke around. Question? Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, is, so we're supposed to be linking our Okanagan College email address to the website and not our personal email address, right? Yeah, they recommend the Okanagan one. Um, I think you can use a personal one, but okay. I think it's easier because Moodle knows your Okanagan one. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I just awesome. uh, per I just purchased that textbook and WebAssign on that website, and it makes you create a web or a an account on the website, and then when oh, you click okay. the link, when you click the link on your Moodle. If you just sign in using that uh, account that you created when you purchased that textbook, it'll awesome. bring you right to the, the homepage of the WebAssign. Cool. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So you should only have to link them once and then it's, it's kind of a gateway between the two. So hopefully I pulled it off. Who knows? Uh, but anyways, I'm going to have to take you to another, Hey, why is it doing that? Let's see, what a sign. I have to prove to you that I have an account. But it just, for some reason, will not link them. Okay. So once you're in, uh, let's see here. Open student view. Because mine looks all garbage. Your guys' looks pretty good. 
All right. So uh, once you're in, this is the view that you should be expecting. Okay, so I just want to show you around a little bit. Um, I put up your first assignment. There's no math involved. It's just figuring out how to use WebAssign. So how to uh, draw a line in WebAssign, how to select options. So kind of give me marks here, but I'm, I'm happy to do that for you guys. Um, so there is your first assignment is the getting started with WebAssign. It's due uh, right before class next Wednesday. So you have a week to do it. Um, you can kind of plug away at that um, and see. Okay, so a couple of things here. So I'm on my iPad, so it's gonna look a little bit different. You'll see. Um, one thing that's kind of nice is that there's kind of a personal study plan. So we're going to start in chapter two, and then there's little practice quizzes that you can do. Uh, there's tutorials for all of them. So of course we'll go through the material, but then it's always nice to have extra material um, just in case. Okay, so there's all those uh, kind of practice quizzes. Um, <clears throat> Oh yeah, the class insights, I think it, so I haven't played around with it um, enough, but uh, I'm pretty sure it takes an assignment that I've made and then it picks out which sections, the questions that you might not have done so well on uh, came from and then you can kind of focus on those sections. So if there were problems that you kind of zipped through and didn't have any, any troubles with, it'll kind of say, hey, these are good to go. Don't worry about these, right? Um, focus more on these ones. So uh, I don't have any class insights here, otherwise I would click it because um, I haven't done any problems for this course yet. And then at the bottom is the actual textbook. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can access, let's see here. obviously a big textbook but okay welcome to mind tap ah, okay <laughs> oh yeah so here um you'll be able to access the chapters and they're just the ebook chapters yeah cool so yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of what to expect, even if you haven't linked your account quite yet. But I think the idea was at least that you would be able to access it through Moodle. Question somewhere. Yeah, right here. Uh, so we know that it's linked with um, Moodle with, with, with our college website when we see what exactly is the front of the thing we should look for when it's linked or um should we just know that off the bat? Sorry, I'm gonna have to turn up my volume, I think. Am I too low? I can turn up oh. mine. Oh it's okay. I there. It's uh -huh. operator error. All right. So should I repeat the uh, Yeah, heard? just yeah, just okay, you know what? Uh yeah, I'm just asking if what 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 exactly should we look for to know that it's linked or um should it be really obvious? Once it's linked it yeah. should just take you to uh, this, this page. Okay. Okay, so once it's linked, uh, then it oh, should okay. just take you to WebAssign. Okay. And you, can, you could just sign in to WebAssign separately, right? You don't have to go through Moodle, but uh, it's nice to have it all in, in one place, I thought. So I tried it. We'll see if it worked. But cool. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Good. Yeah, so you should only have to link it one time. But let me know if there's any issues. And I'll check in later today uh, and see, because it'll populate my roster there. So in fact, 19. 
Yeah. It's awesome. You guys are on it. Yeah, party time. Um, cool. I think that's what I had planned for today. Any questions, general questions, concerns, comments? Comments below. Like, subscribe. Uh, I had a question. Sure. Uh, just in regards to um, when you said using a scanner app on mm -hmm. the phone, is that just sending stuff that we've written down, I guess, in person to scan yeah. to, to you? Yeah. If there's okay. any written work that I need you to submit, and I'll let you guys know, obviously, in advance, um, then I'll expect you to be able to scan it somehow, probably using a scanner app. Uh, the scanner app that you said that you can get on your phone, does that scan whole pages or does it scan only parts of it? Uh, scannable that I use, and I, I downloaded quite a few or a couple, and I think I deleted some of them. I tried, I tried Adobe Scan and Scannable on iPhone. Scannable was like way better than Adobe Scan. You'd think this is like Adobe Domain, but um, but if you have an iPhone, because I suspect it's just a, an iPhone thing, it might not be, um, but Scannable was really good. And you just hold it and it just picks up pages faster than, uh, than you want it to sometimes. <laughs> Whoa. So then I guess if you scan it on your phone, would you just be emailing it to you directly or email it to maybe yourself to get it onto your computer? To then send to you oh yeah so there's a couple of different ways that you can share it with yourself yeah so email is easiest um and then typically if you're submitting written work you would just upload it to gradescope um or email to me if it's a really long thing and you want me to look at it um then just email it to me yeah but we have uh we have nothing for that on the horizon but I want you to be aware. Try it out. See how it goes. Awesome. All right. Any other questions? Um, I have a question. This, uh, yes. the grade scope, is that a, is that a software that we need to download or is that just something no. or something? No, it's just a, it's just a browser thing. Uh, and I would send you the invite to do it. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I'll still guide you. So guide you. you get a, a great group account then until you do a filling. Yeah. So just wait until I, I send you, hey, Emily wants you to upload stuff on Gradescope. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll probably talk about it in class too. So. Awesome. Any other questions? All right. For the final exam though, would, would it be timed how, or you would probably don't know how it would be um, assessed yet, right? Yeah, so it will be timed. Um, thank you. I point this, that's where you are on my screen, but uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, we will have, so the tests, I forgot to mention, the tests will be during class time. So just as if it's a normal class, like I said, we, I want to keep it as simple as I, as I can. Uh, so we'll just have tests during class time, uh, just like we would in person. And then um, there will be a final exam schedule still. And so all your final exams will be kind of laid out in the exams in the final exam period. Um, and then it's kind of luck of the draw when we get to go. But uh, so it will be timed. Usually it's a three hour block. Um, but we might not use all that or yeah, we'll see. But. Uh, you were saying that the assignment 
are not time so we get a particular day or two to do it or something. Okay. exactly yeah so assignments you'll have typically i give you a week to work on them uh whereas a quiz would be kind of okay you sit down and you work on it for an hour and then you it's in all right so so we'll do some of those some assignments kind of thinkers uh and then yeah mix it up okay cool. so for the other two uh instructors how often will they be coming or what's what's the um you know the schedule for, for them would we even have a schedule for them by the way uh so uh, sorry i'm my little ipad uh not not working uh but did you say how how often to expect assignments and, and quizzes right. Pro no, assignments for other, no for well you could uh, we could answer that as well but i was <laughs> more so asking about the, the instructors the other two instructors if, oh if, yeah uh, yeah well, if they have a schedule, if you're going by a, like a particular pattern in terms of how you guys are going to be doing classes and so forth. Uh, so, yeah, so the other instructors right. will be doing the, the same stuff-ish. So yeah. uh, I'll pick questions that I like uh, and then, but the final exam will be, uh, usually we say about 80% common. So if if you run into or if you know someone in a different section definitely you know you can still work on the same stuff we're all doing the same stuff so okay. um and then what was the other question that i made up from you uh oh how often right uh probably about weekly weekly assignments or so cool. do you have a certain amount of time that uh you want us to put aside for any kind of homework or will we be doing it mostly throughout class time? Uh, so homework, I would expect you to, to work on outside of class time, but we will be doing a lot of practice problems in class to kind of prepare you for those problems. Um, so we'll be doing a lot of them. Um, and a lot of the time, I mean, we can't, sit here for for four hours a week that's crazy uh so sometimes we'll, we'll probably just i'll just say oh, okay is there a question you're working on that you want to work on as a group uh that kind of thing and we'll just kind of do it that way too so so we'll have some class time uh to work on those problems but i would expect you to kind of work on them outside of class too right and on that note is it is, it, is there a particular, uh, what do you call it now, uh, way that you could schedule helping each of us, like when, we're going, when you're going through problems, or um, yeah, is, is there any way that you could particular, particularly just while we're having class times, you know, help us um, while we're going through class, like personal mm. class, 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 class. So... I would say, and I mean, I'm new to this too. So I'm, I'm going to say for class time, it's all of us here and, and we'll just kind of figure it out. Uh, but for office hours, of course, it'll just be a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, just like normal office hours. So Zoom has a, a waiting room function. So if I'm with someone, then you'll just be put in the waiting room and then uh, I'll, I hope I'll be alerted if there's someone in the waiting room. Um, and then, but so that'll be more one-on-one uh, -on -one time. But like I said, we'll just, we'll schedule that as we go kind of by appointment, but just let me know and I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Cool. Any other questions? I have a question. Sure. Um, so we have this class on, on Mondays and Wednesdays and our assignment for today is due next Wednesday. Um, yeah. Is it going to be maybe common to see like assignments on Wednesday due the next Wednesday or maybe mm. like will, they, will there be assignments on the Monday that are due the following Monday or like is it just going to be kind of based on what, however the week pans out kind of? Yeah, so it'll be kind of... Um depending on cutoffs, right? So if we finish chapter two and then I'll do a chapter two assignment type of deal, uh, depending on how long it takes. Um, 
but I'll always give you a week to do it. So whether I assign it on the Wednesday, you'll have until Wednesday or Monday, you'll have until the Monday. Um, and, and I want you guys to let me know if, if you have like a crazy week with your other courses and stuff. Um, because especially for assignments, um, I can be flexible. So just let me know in advance and then, um, don't come to me after because you've had a week. <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, just come to me in advance and say, Hey, all our other courses are crazy. Uh, can we push this a little bit? Yeah, you bet. No problem. But in general, just a week. Yeah. Thanks. No worries. Any other questions? All right. You guys ready to go or what? I don't even know what time it is. Good. Not bad for a first day. All right. I will see you guys on Monday then. And uh, yeah. Discord, text, or email me if you need me. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.